Hey everybody, welcome back. Devin the OG, the original Grognard here for Lock and Load Publishing. And today we're going to take a look at you can get Lock and Load Publishing games and play them on Vassal. Most people out there know what Vassal is, but for those of you who do not know what Vassal is, Vassal is a board game engine for building and playing online adaptations of board games and card games. It is basically a digital game top and counter set and... Uh, it's a way that you can play games with your friends, be it online or PBEM. It's very similar to Tabletop Simulator, although it does predate Tabletop Simulator by at least 15 years, I think. Uh, it's been around for a while. So what you're going to want to do is the first thing you need to do is you're going to have to install the Vassal Engine itself. And it is completely free, and you can find it at vassalengine.org. And I will go ahead and put the link in the comment section below. You'll just go right here. If you're running Windows, download it from there. Or if you're running another operating system, you have this button right here download vessel of other operating systems you get that downloaded and installed then you're going to want to look for the modules that you want to download and there are hundreds upon hundreds of games that people have converted into vassal modules so to find ours you're going to want to go modules sorted by publisher then click on the l for lock and load and then there it is right there lock and load publishing and hey look at that 40 different games we have available for Vassal. So you just look around and see which ones you want to download. And they're all totally free. You don't have to pay for any of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at Heroes Against the Red Star. So let's go ahead and click on that. And this will take you to the page where you actually download the file itself. What you're going to want to look for is the VMOD for Vassal Module. You will notice there are also sometimes VMDX files, which are extensions, which are basically if there's an expansion to the game, uh, then you have to load down, load the VMDX, and there's a few processes, steps that you have to go through to get a VMDX set up. But basically, you have to have the base module, the VMod, to play VMDX. We're not getting into that today. We're just looking at how to how to get the mods. So you just go ahead and click on the mod you want. And sometimes there might be a couple different variations or versions of it. Uh, you just want to get the most recent one. Uh, this looks like this was done in 2019. So you just click it on and it will automatically download it into your download section. And oh, this is, might take a few minutes. 49 megs. There we go. There we're speeding up. There we go. 12 seconds, 4 seconds. All right. As soon as it's loaded, go to your folder. And here it is right here. Heroes Against the Red Star for version 2.4. And so what you're going to want to do at that point, you're going to want to go ahead and oops, stick it in wherever your Vassal folder is at. And for me, it is under my D drive under right here. Vassal 3.2.17. And you just drop it into the, into the mod itself, just right like that. And it's transferred over, and you can tell by going into the Vassal mod, and where is it? Heroes Against the Red Star, right here. So now that you've got it loaded, you have to actually tell Vassal to look for it. So how do you do that? You open up the Vassal module itself. As you can see, I've got a, uh, I got a few lock and load titles here. I've got Second Fleet, Seventh Fleet, ATS. Uh, but let's go ahead, and we want to import a module. And you want to go into wherever your Vassal module subfolder is at. And then you're going to want to find the exact folder you want to tell it to look for. And th in this case, it's going to be Heroes of the Red Star. We hit Open, and that gives me a val invalid. Let's try it the other way. Let's try Open Module, and we'll do the same thing. Let's find Heroes Against the Red Star. Click on that. And there we go. You can see it's starting to process all the image files and input it into your library of games. Sometimes import works. Obviously, it didn't work this time. Uh, and then here we go. It's starting up. And then start a new game offline. Look for a game online. Uh, the servers are usually always up. I've, in fact, I can nev I've never known of a time when Vassal servers were down. I think I've heard of a couple times it might be. Or you can load a saved game. So you just go to start a new game offline if you want to play it solitaire or hot seated with a buddy of yours. And then you can set up the maps however the scenarios are, are set up. Let's just go ahead and click that one real quick. And then maybe you want to add a row. So whatever map is there. You can do map 23 like that. And if you want to flip it, 
if the scenario calls for the map being upside down you just hit the flip button and there you go and so let's go ahead and hit finish and then this will bring you right into the vessel module itself and of course you've got all your 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 buttons up here for everything you can do and here's the map as it was set up all nice and neat and you can't even tell really that there's any board lines, separation lines. Eh, you can tell a little bit the dots are off just a touch, but it all flows together smoothly and seamlessly. Then you just go ahead and click on the markers and then you pick, you look through whatever you've got, whatever the scenario calls for, be it NATO, Warsaw Pact. You say you need some multi-man counters. So just pull them out and drop them right on the board and then you and your opponent can start setting everything up and just play the scenario just like you were playing face to face now one thing that vassal does have over uh, tabletop simulator is this can be played uh, via email you can do your turn and it will save the turn into a file format that you can email to your friend and you can just play back and forth uh that's about it there's a whole, the, vassal has got some really cool mechanics for it you can uh i think that yeah you can undo your last move you can let's see uh mark all the map pieces as having not moved you got dice rollers you've got notes you can turn the map into night and you know you've got the turn track you can hide pieces if you if you want to see the terrain underneath and we've got the button to, to delete all the admin smoke markers to to flip the smoke from level one to level two fire for it, it, pretty much if it's in the tabletop version you're going to have an ability to do it in vassal itself so that's a quick rundown on how to get lock and load tactical or not just lock and load tactical lock and load publishing modules on vassal and where to get vassal questions comments concerns complaints criticisms in the comment section below and i'll talk to everybody later see ya